I'm Sam with Spindle. Today we're putting together a natural latex mattress. Before you start, you should know that a natural latex mattress like ours requires a different level of support and airflow than a traditional mattress. Good support is the key to preventing premature softening or sagging, so a latex mattress needs to go on a proper wooden foundation or a platform bed with slats and center rails. In my case, I didn't need a foundation, but the slats that came with my platform bed were a joke. In order to reinforce the slats, I needed to add more support that ran head to foot with legs that touched the floor. If you need help reinforcing your bed, we have lots of product information and ideas on our website. With a little handiwork, properly supporting your latex mattress shouldn't be too difficult. Latex is both heavy and stretchy, so this is a two-person job, so grab a friend. Bribes of wine and pizza often help. Let's get started. Obviously, open the box marked Open Me First. When unboxing, please don't use a sharp object. This prevents any damage to the materials inside. In the box, you will find the zippered cover and the assembly directions. Our first step is to spread out the mattress cover with the quilted side up on your foundation or platform bed. Make sure the zipper and the white tags are at the foot of the bed. Then unzip the quilted top and set it aside. On your direction sheet, find the graphic and circle the configuration for the mattress you chose. On the top of each box, there's a label telling you what firmness is inside. Find the base layer first. Take the base layer out of the box. It's easiest to place it on the bed still round. Remove the two layers of plastic and your latex will spring to life. You may not know this, but with our latex, the smooth side is a bit softer, while the side with the holes is a little bit firmer. We recommend that when you build your mattress, you start with the holes facing down. Keep in mind there are always natural variations within latex. Some areas may be different in color or appearance, some layers will look different than others. There may even be slight tears. All of this is normal. None of this will affect the durability and quality of your mattress. We recommend you just go ahead and build your mattress. As you start to put the latex into the cover, you may worry that there's no way this is gonna fit. Trust me, it will, I swear. The latex is flexible and the mattress cover is designed to be snug so everything has a finished look in the end. We've found the best way to maneuver the latex is with a wave-like or flicking motion to reposition it. You can also reach under the latex and lift it up a bit to wedge it in. As you move the layer, make sure the bottom stays flat and smooth. You can do this by tugging a little on the edges of the cover. Start with the corners. You may have noticed by now that the edges of the latex are square, but the edges of the cover are round. Don't worry. The latex will squish in there and fill out the corners nicely. Now you'll start adjusting that base layer to line up with the seams and edges of the cover. This may take a few minutes. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. When it's all set, pull up the sides of the cover, creating a bucket. Take a look back at the chart on your directions. Go ahead and lay in your second and third layers. When you're stacking the layers, they probably won't line up exactly perfectly. This is normal. There are variations in length and width. It may also look like the latex is taller than the side of the cover. It's fine. Once you zip the top back on, everything will fit together snugly. Now to finish up, grab the top of the cover you put aside earlier. Begin zipping. Tuck the skirt in and push down on the latex as you go. It may be tight, so you may need to pull the top of the cover over to get it to zip up. When you're finished, you'll have a Spindle Natural Latex Mattress. Visit our website, spindlemattress.com, for other information, tips, and how-to videos.